the infamous griddle cake. Hey y'all, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. Still rocking the pumpkin. I think this is fair until Thanksgiving. Mm. Speaking of mugs. So I do my best not to um, go to Target <laughs> for a long time now because I, sometimes I'll run in because they have interesting food. I might want to grab something for a taste test. <clears throat> but, um, I like my line. Let's see here. Yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah. Okay. And, um, but anyway, if you don't use the card once a year, then they'll take it, whatever. So, usually around this time, I use the card. And I try to do it online. So, I thought, you know what? I want to see their Christmas mugs. And they had some pretty cute ones for five bucks. And Walmart's can be $3.98, but I'm running in Walmart, so I'm going to wait on that. But um, I found a couple cute ones for gifts, too. So, we'll see about that. Um, but, yeah, so the griddle cake, y'all. So, this is half a one. I toasted it. I took one, I could put a cheese and an egg on. So this is supposed to be comparable to like the McGriddle. Um, but those are sort of really sweet, but just toasted. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, so they're the griddle cakes. You get like, I don't remember how many five or 10, I mean, eight or 10, I think. But anyway, it's kind of, it's a little bit sweet, but in the way cornbread can be. Now what I did is I, um, I put a little unexpected cheddar in an egg. Let's try that. I would really prefer craft singles on here, but I don't have any, so. I think one's enough. Like, you can make a sandwich, but you're pretty thick. Now, a little raspberry jam, a little cranberry would be really good. A little tartness pop. They're good. I can see why people like them. And probably a nice alternative to toast. Yeah, so you could um, keep these in there. You have to freeze them and have that like a piece of toast. Or with chili. Y'all, those would be really good with chili. They really would. Okay, so I'm trying to get a little food in my stomach. Because I'm, I'm going to talk to you all my day. Right, Clara? Um... Clara and I are reducing our carb intake. We had a party at work yesterday. I did really well. Somebody had brought like a meat plate, like wrapped around cheese. <coughs> so I stuck to that. they have been craving macaroni um, salad and I bought some. It's so good. That Amish. Oh my God. So, but I'm done with all that because, um, yeah. Holidays are coming and I don't want to be... Now, I am having said that I'm going to get some different ice creams for Sue and Mark and I to try. Um, and if I can find more of those hold the cone peppermint, I'm getting them. But other than that, then chillax on a lot of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, got my apple salad to eat up. I think I'm going to um, finally roast some peppers and onions, sweet potatoes. Um... Now, them sausages have been sitting out in my refrigerator, so I'm not sure. I got it. Might I know I probably have a kielbasa back there. Yeah. Let's go through my day. Yeah. So, first is um, Kohl's to return some two things from Amazon. 
The um, second thing is Dollar Tree. I'm going to get five dish pans if they have them. And if they have some of those little brooms, I'll get them. Oh. And I need some more of that Caramex lip stuff. I want to have it everywhere. Then to Walmart. Return. I got to pull that up. And pick up a few things. Like I need flour, so I'm going to get, <coughs> it's just cheaper there. Um, <coughs> I need glutinous rice flour. They have tons of flour there, y'all. So I'm going to check that out. If not, I have to go to the Korean store soon. Which I want to take y'all anyway, but not before Thanksgiving. Yeah, this will be my first, last kind of foray. I mean... I may have to think about, I've got everyone I know looking for this, these little cones. They're perfect. For some reason, I don't sit and eat the whole thing. I can have one, two tops and feel good. But other than that, you know, I'm trying to think. There's a couple new things I want to grab if I can find them. But I'm going to say, y'all, if you're not totally cut out carbs, try the griddle cakes and see what you think. I think with chili, be kind of a cool alternative to that. And, and definitely, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's like cornbread pancake. I would really, so, oh, I need, and then I want to go by, okay. Yes. Then I have to go to CVS and then, um, I'm running to, to my giant to get eggs. And if they have some more grapes, then loving the grapes. <clears throat> so. Yeah, CVS did not have my medicine ready yesterday. <laughs> and I have to take my steroids at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I will start the antibiotic. Oh, that reminds me. i got to take my prebiotics. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I'll start tomorrow with the steroids. I'll start the antibiotics today. And I'm feeling kind of better. So, I mean, my head's stuffed up and I have all that to deal with. So, maybe in two weeks, once three weeks, I get all this. And, you know, water, water, water. I get all this process on my body. I'll actually maybe feel good. But I, um, I, I, it was easy to make the effort to put on a little makeup, do my hair. So, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said, I want to harness the power of the steroids. Um, that reminds me, Trader Joe's, I want to get some miso broth, that miso ginger broth, because these next two weeks are going to be interesting because, you know, steroids, not only does it give you energy, it makes you so hungry. Um, and I'm still kind of reeling from when I took this other drug that made me hungry. I, as someone who's dealt with food issues her whole life, that feeling of Hunger is just where it's, it, it's not, it's a foe. It's not real. It's like, you can't eat something to satiate it. I hate that. So, but like I said, chia pudding, miso ginger broth. I love that stuff anyway. <coughs> it's so comforting. Um, I'm going to get from Walmart if I find it. It's a, it's a peppermint mocha tea. And I thought, wow, that might be kind of tasty in the afternoon at work. Um, because, you know, I will probably, with the steroids, not have coffee or decaf, y'all. Now, I'm not supposed to be buying really extra things, but my C CVS, I had a $5 coupon off. They had their Starbucks on sale for $6.99. That is a rock bottom. And if you got so much, you got $4 off. So, that's $9, right, off of, that's like really two free ones. You know, or at least one normal price one, which I would never pay. But I wanted to get some decaf. Um, they didn't have the decaf veranda, which is my favorite. But they had the decaf house blend, which is fine. Um, they did have my veranda. So um, that's going to be coming. That was an insanely good deal. But like I said, you're already hipped up. You don't need to be hipping up on coffee. But we'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel. I mean, maybe like I'll have a couple sips, save it for the next day. Um, but yeah, <sighs> so I feel like I'm moving in the right direction, you guys. I really do. 
So that's called Christmas, right? Um, you know, it's interesting. I got out my yearbook. I found my yearbook from seventh grade. Um, I went to James Madison, Upper Marlboro, James Madison, junior high. And that's when it was a junior high, not a middle school. And it was also seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, which you guys, that makes so much more sense. Why would somebody who's in ninth grade be glumped in with all these 10th, 11th, and 12th graders? There's such a difference between ninth and 10th grade and, you know, growing. Anyway, so I was looking through it and reading some of the things people wrote. And I really honestly can't remember most people, which is, that's fine, you know. I just got very nostalgic for my parents. You know, thinking about what was going on in my life at that time. And, you know, there was a friend there and she had written, um, we never, we didn't know each other, but now we do. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna say her name, but not like she's gonna be watching. What are the odds, but y'all, that's how that works. And um, I always have been drawn to different people than me. Like, hang out with people who are just like me. I don't know, that's always bored me. And you know, it was tough. It's interesting because some of us went to elementary school, junior high and high school together, right? But I was looking at some of the people who, yeah, like this woman, a girl. And um, so this is seventh grade. She looks so young, but, and she had traumatic life, y'all. I mean, <clears throat> as, as much as I had parents who made bad decisions that hurt our lives, they love me. They love my brother. They had a house. They made sure we were, you know, they made sure we have more than the basics. We were loved and wanted. And she never had that. And she had this house. I can remember one time my stepsister and my dad were dropping. Yeah, I don't think my, yeah, it would have been my dad and my stepsister dropping me off. <clears throat> they, I don't think I was spending, maybe I was spending the night. <clears throat> which, how about my father? This house, y'all, was like something from a Hitchcock movie. It was kind of by itself and it was falling down. It was an old, old house. Anyway, I think her stepfather had ended up like hanging himself in it. I mean, really just sad stuff. But anyway, ninth grade, I think she got pregnant. And um, mm, I just wonder, my God, that child, right? That would have been like 79 or 80. Wow. Yeah. And I just, you know, it was very hard. Like, if we were going out, like, to a game or a basketball game, somehow she'd just foist the kid on me and then go off and do what she wanted. So, that would happen one time. It's like, yeah, this is not going to work out. So, yeah, but it's interesting. But that made me nostalgic. Um, and there's there's a, a girl, tall girl. We were in elementary school together. Tall Donna. I'm going to say Donna. And she used to pick on me. Oh, my God. In sixth grade picked on me. I mean, my parents had to come in. It was interesting because I was a chunky little thing, but not really. But that summer I'd grown taller and was much smaller. So she, you know, I, you know, I turned her around to be like a friend and a protector, but I saw her picture and I thought, wow, I wonder. So I Googled a couple people and there was this girl named Cheryl, Z-I-E-R. And she was, you know, overweight, but people would not consider her attractive, awkward, that kind of thing. And um, had like thick glasses, you know, just the, this, you know. So I thought, I wonder what happened to her. But I Googled her name, but she came up under a, her mom's obituary that she'd already been, that she'd already, she had predeceased her mother. Predeceased, there's a word. Um, but didn't, I couldn't find like how or what or why or what, but it just made me sad. And so I stopped. I did. But anyway, I don't know. So it's, you know, Christmas is coming. I'm feeling nostalgic. But so I probably, I'm going to put away all my Halloween stuff today. I don't have that much out, but yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to bring out, you know, number one. I have to get everything from the top down. And Zachy's in town like the 15th, but that's getting awful close, right? Um, I don't know. I might just take out what I have in the house and um, we'll see. There are some tubs down. Just, you know, I'm, I'm still in this process of letting go. So I'm not sure I want to drag more in, right? Doesn't that make sense? But hopefully next year will be a different story. 
but yeah, so, um, if, when I go into Walmart today, Kohl's, I'm literally running in, running out. I think in January, I'm going to get some new face, um, makeup. Um, but I don't need that. I need under eye stuff. I, I'm determined to use up what I have, even if it's not the stuff I love. So I'm in the process of that. <clears throat> and I may have to go back to the stuff that's more toxic because I like the way it worked the best, you know? And so the other things, like I'd stop, I have to get some baby oil. I cannot stand, I, I just need baby oil. So I'm try, I try to find like Jessica Alba, whoever she is. She had, um, a brand called Honest, but I really can't, but I'm going to look, I put it on my list to remind me at Walmart. Um, <clears throat> But I like this stuff that's like a gel and not an oil. It was like cocoa butter and shea or something like that. Anyway, I I just can't. So, especially my skin is just super dry. So, I that I love my shampoo, the Native. As a matter of fact, I'm going to order a body wash from the, um, Walmart. I think I'm going to look today. I think you have to have it has come in the mail. But um, they have a peppermint one. So, I might try that. But I do like the native, the shampoo, I really do. And it comes in a pump bottle, love that. So, um, I like that. I'm trying to think, what else did I let go of? That has got to come back. Well, the deodorant I'm using is Tom's, I think it's fine. I can't smell, so who knows? I told someone at work now, if I smell, please tell me. She's like, you don't smell. I'm like, okay. So that's what's going on. So Claire this morning, before she knew it, she got her nails clipped. God, she, and she was so like caught off guard. She didn't have time to act up about it. So those are done because she sticks and stuff. It, it bothers me, of course. And we are down to, it's going to be interesting today. She has crunchies left. We're down, we're getting back down to three fourths of a can twice a day. But I'm going to be gone, and then I'm going to be running up and down stairs. And my, I am going to finish my project today, my secret project, because I want to be done and have it off my list. And I think the weather is going to cooperate. So it's going to be like, <coughs> I think, under an hour or something. So we will do that. And um, so I can show you. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Yeah, so we'll see. I'm, I'm... You know, I think I'll be fine in Walmart. I mean, there's not a lot I want. I do want some Christmas mugs, but other than that, I'm not, I'm not like really interested in buying decor, decor stuff. Really, Halloween is my favorite, and Valentine's is risky too. But I, I know I have so much stuff. I just I feel satiated with all that, like letting stuff go, right? So I was thinking about, I'm trying to, I've talked to Sue, I'm try, we're trying to narrow down a time. I'm hoping the Monday after Thanksgiving, I got to ask her again about that, but I'm going to surprise them. Where are you going, Clara? You can go potty? See, she does the slow up the stairs. Can you all see her? Yeah, see, she's slowly. Hey, Clara, can you say hi? Huh? That's the slow going potty, and then she runs down like a crazy person. But yeah, so I'm thinking about us doing gingerbread houses and you guys deciding which one you like the best. So I was online. Walmart is supposed to have one that has three houses. How perfect. Because I was looking at like, there's a candy land, there's this, there's that. So I thought, you know what? They're bigger and they're like, you know, not super expensive. But if I can get three for pretty much the price of one of those, then I'm going to do it. If I can find it. Target's supposed to have one. So I'm not ordering anything from Target yet. I'm going to wait to see what I find at Walmart. But, <clears throat> yeah. But what I like to do with the Target, if I go in the store, and I just don't feel, just don't feel like going in the store. Um, I just don't. I'm not going to. I even think my password is something like, don't you dare go to the store, you know. Danger, danger, danger. God, I, but it's not as good as it used to be. Do y'all agree with me? Like, oh my God, when we moved to Arizona, Target was there. And it was Target. It was not Target. It was Target. And um, my mom and I, oh my God, that was our store. 
and they didn't have food or, you know, they might've had some stuff, but nothing like now. And then that was smart of Target to change that way though, right? Um, and then they not, I mean, I think since my mother was alive towards the end, they changed it somehow to look more like a department store. Hated it, hated it. And um, like you walk in and there's this area, I don't know, I, I just, anyway, so. And it changed, you know, maybe I changed and I didn't need stuff like that anymore. So, yeah, other than the mugs, and I will order those online. So, I got, if, if, if they don't have, and there's, like, y'all, wait till you see this one mug I'm getting, um, for, getting, um, for some friends. It's a perfect little gift. So, <clears throat> excuse me. But, yeah, so that's what's happening. And then inside the house, really, my I almost told you what I'm doing, but really the outside thing is the most important. So I get home. I need. I want to finish hauling Trader Joe's. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me, y'all. This has not got creamer in it. Does not have dairy. This is oat. So why am I getting that? All right, um, y'all literally forgot. What did I just say, you guys? I have a bill to pay. And then what I what I want to do, so I'm thinking this through with you is. Okay, so in my studio, I have a bed. Santa Claus was on the bed, but Santa Claus is upstairs now. So what I want to do is take everything off the bed, make the bed, make sure it's flat. Once I get stuff done, I'll wash all the sheets and stuff. And it's a it's like a place I can hang out and read, or you know, if I have a, you know, when I we would have guests over, I would sleep down there or um, or take a nap, or it was, you know, it's just a, a cool little place. I'd like to make a place for Clara. The Clara goes under a table because things are flying and she's not trusting and she's smart like that. But then I have to decide. I want to, I think I want to put, maybe I'll start with, so there's a bookcase. It's not easy to get to. So there's a lot of these little kids books that I like. I think I might put them all there. I mean, eventually I think I'll sell some, but I can make books out of them, right? But not now. So I'm gonna put the, uh, those kind of books there. Books I think that I might sell. Um, so I'm gonna put those there and they'll be out of the way and that will clear up room on my bookshelf. And then I'm trying to decide, should I put stuff that's not sorted in the corner? And then I wanna put, um, So I don't know, do I want to put stuff that, I need to take stuff off my bookcases. I need to rearrange them. So, maybe what I'll do is anything that's paper, I'll start with what's behind me. I'll take all that out, right? And then I've got to decide like, um, what, what do I want behind me, right? Do I want my little dish pans with my books in them so I can turn around and just grab it? Um, again, do I need all my paintbrushes out? Can I have a little selection of paintbrushes or is that fine? You know, so I moved my desk over y'all, which I'm telling you was a lot of work. And now I feel like I moved it a little too far. So I have to really, now's the time to decide if I edge it back a little bit. And I think I will. Then I have these green um, Ikea cabinets, right? So right by my desk, there's one with scissors, one with tape, one with glue, one with, you know, cutting things. So stuff like tools, right? Tools I don't use that often are on the bottom, right? And then I'm starting with, um, I have a lot of tape, y'all. I need to go through my tapes. Masking tape, little washi tape, duct tape, um art tape, you know, painter's tape. So I want to organize all that a little better. Um, but I don't have to do that yet. That I love stuff like that. And that's not what I need to do that, you know, minute kind of stuff. So, and then I have, um, like I, we have these things for transfers and their transparency. I have that together. I want to have people together. I have vintage together, that kind of thing. Then I want to have one drawer of, um, stationary stuff. I have a drawer of things for tags, um, and, and I have a drawer of pockets, stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot there. And then I have this thing, it's like 
Well, maybe we'll go through that today. It's a mail slot thing, right? It's awesome. I've had that thing forever. I love it. And so I can tuck things in there, right? Um, but like I have stuff to make your own stamps. Have all that together there. That kind of thing. So I'm just thinking. You know, my bookshelves, I want to have like coffee stained paper, right? Um, coffee stained paper that is finished. Like I've, I've stenciled on or I've done stuff to, right? And basically these are papers I'm going to grab. Well, not necessarily for collage, but to make books with, right? So I think I'll put all those in one bookcase, papers that I would use to pull to make books. And then I have, y'all, I have a lot. And I haven't gone through everything because I can't yet. I've been very good. <coughs> I've been very on top of not getting lost in the process because I want to accomplish something, you know? And all of this is so I can bring down all the bags of stuff I have in the living room. Um... And this is stuff I've been using, right? So I think I'll do that. And like I have tons of scrapbook paper, but it's closer to me than it needs to be. But it's a big pain to butt to move. So I may or may not do that. Or I may put that in a, a box. Because I have a box that would be the size of scrapbook paper. And I don't even need it over there. You know, just go through and grab some stuff. And eventually I'll, I'll weed through all that and let some go that I don't like. But yeah, so that's kind of my dilemma. It's a good one. And then in front of my desk, I have stuff and I need to move it, but that's, you have to take all this stuff down and, um, which is what I've done with my desk. And I have not put my desk back together because I want to make sure it's comfortable. And then I have a little green Ikea cart, the iconic cart. And, um, I've been keeping markers and stuff there, but I don't know. I mean, I want to start using a bunch of my stuff I haven't used, but I don't know if that's the place it needs to go. And that will fine tune as I use stuff, right? Um, because I don't, I always have really cute things on my desk and I'm not going to let that go, but I'm trying to figure that out and have more room. So that, my desk will be where I do collaging and stuff like that. If I'm going to do serious painting, that kind of thing, I have my card table. And like I said, I have a little round table for my sewing machine. But I think I'm going to put that in the library and that is going to be, maybe that is where I'll do assembling book papers, right? So if I could put the, you know, it's just a fun process, y'all. But anyway, I'll, maybe I'll bring you down today. I don't know. We'll see. My phone charge is acting up, so. But I do have a phone charger down there now. And like I said, I got YouTube down there now. So, but it needs dusting, y'all. Woo! But once I get, um... The only thing I'm not going to take down today is my Halloween stuff. Because I want to sit down and start organizing it and getting the books together. Um, I'd like to work on that this weekend, actually. And I'd like to work on my sewing machine, y'all. So. Because I know once I get going, I'm going to be good. And then that will go, probably stay here for now, but then that will go my library desk. Cause I used to have a desktop there and I don't have that anymore, but it's good and the lighting's good. Yeah. And then I'm really almost done with my tabletop and I'm gonna put a nice book thing on it. <clears throat> book thing. I'm gonna put a nice tablecloth and then I got my puzzle thing and I'm gonna, y'all, we're gonna have a puzzle to do for Christmas. Cause Vlogmas starts December 1st and I'm getting an advent calendar puzzle so each day you do a part of the puzzle isn't that kind of cool but y'all did not show you my sharpies this is from dollar tree metal i love this thing yep <clears throat> and if i i'm going to be truthful because what's the point if i were to meander the um color stuff like they have a whole row in the walmart like ah, oh, i would be tempted i'm not going to of course but it it wouldn't you know this exciting so anyway this just visually makes me so happy and then this is um these are <clears throat> well this is a poster pen but these are paint markers right they are um this is chalk paint let me find one <clears throat> deco color opaque paint marker Broadline. Hey, girlfriend. 
So these are really cool to do mark making and stuff with. Don't smell them, y'all. So, and this is a big, big old white one. Because sometimes you, I love this thing. Sometimes you just want to do broad strokes. So, anyway, and look at this cute little, little container thing. I probably should put a little bit of tape. They could bulge in out a little bit. That white thing. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So these things all have, well, I don't need this necessarily the Sharpies close to me, but anyway, so that's my thinking, my process. And then I'm going to put together my little um, kit. So I can just grab it and got everything I need to make, you know, do 10, 15 minutes of art in the living room or my room or what, the kitchen, wherever. So that's fine. And y'all, I want to do some coffee stain. So let me show you. So this, I think I showed you all. So this is Women's Army Corps Training Center. I don't know, you know, I sometimes I film and don't post just because I feel like I didn't post it in time. I don't know. Anyway, it has water damage on it, but I want a coffee and tea stain this. <clears throat> I think it will, I mean, not all of it, but a lot of it. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't, I was, I, oh, I have to tell you about the book. Hold on, do this real quick. So this is just something I got from the book sale is recycling it's a mimeograph so i'm very excited it's chinese about the chinese history so i'm excited to see how coffee will look on that and then i have um so i'm gonna do that so uh, probably um sunday but can y'all i know this is like i can't make the thing tighter it's annoying um the sun has changed so this is just like a receipt book I found that in my garage. I have a whole big book. But I just want to try staining some of it. I might be better off just painting it and not, you know, so... Hi! Hi! And this is some stuff that, um, for my upcoming Wanderlust, that the artists, like this is Jane Chip and a couple of the artists, like, have things you could, you could download and print. Um, so if you didn't have stuff, but I'm going to, I'm going to coffee stain all that. And then one night, just sit out and cut some stuff out so I have it ready to go. So I want to work on those. But let me tell you about the book, y'all. Oh, my God. I must did a, a little extra thing yesterday. But, okay. So, impulsivity is a thing. And um, it really goes, I mean, when you read stuff about ADHD, and, you know, people have different components different symptoms from ADHD, like not everyone's the same. So it's a little better, but I don't know. Yes. And it happens when I'm rushing, right? So yesterday I was rushing because I had to go to the doctor. Was it yesterday? No, but I really remembered I had to get gas, right? So I um, kind of was rushing and all of a sudden, Somebody, um, Robin Marie Smith, who, if you guys are into art or just, she's a lovely human being. I've taken classes with her. She's in Florida. Um, nice. And her art has changed so much, but she does all kinds of demos and stuff like that. Anyway, I love her. And, but she was showing, um, a lot of free stuff. So she was showing, um, she had made a journal out of an old dictionary. I thought, I like that. So I thought I could do A to Z, right? Of whatever. So I'm looking and I see two on this top shelf. So like all my dictionaries are basically together. You know, I'm pretty well organized. But so I see one and my brain's like, just go, go. You, you, what are you going to do? You don't have time. No. Mm -mm. Had to get over there, pull it. And, and one of the books just hit me hard, like right here, like right here. Thank God my glasses were not broken. It did not go in my eye. But it freaked me out. It was, it hurt. It still hurts a little bit. So I tell everyone at work, okay, just in case I black out, here's what's going on. So I took one Tylenol, tried to drink water, looked at the symptoms. I didn't really, you know, um, but usually if I get a bang on the head, for some reason, it's always this side I bang. That will put me in vertigo because it will mess up my inner ear, my crystals. So I'm on alert for that, that if I remote, and I know the feeling, right? And there's a nausea that goes with that, but I'm going to be so messed up with all these drugs. But I'm, I know, because I know if I put my head back and turn it like that, 
I can throw myself into vertigo when that's going on. But the place, the ENT place, I like so much. And they have, you know, I would make an appointment and we would do some maneuvers. I get that back. But what a pain, right? Anyway, so I'm really going to work on that. And it's so funny because I just threw it in a box. I'm like, what was that? You know, like, why did you want to grab that? And you know, you should have been on a stool. I mean, maybe I need a hard hat. I've never had a book fall on me like that. Because I was trying to pull it. I mean, I wasn't doing it correctly. Anyway, so I'm thankful. Just thought of it right now. And um, since I didn't get like a crazy headache, I thought, you know what? You don't need to get a CAT scan or anything. You really don't. Um, and I'd read a bunch of stuff online and, you know, usually the CAT scan's not going to show anything unless you've been in like a violent, like a car accident or something crazy. But y'all, a big dictionary fell on my head. Like, is there a deeper meaning? <laughs> So anyway, that was my exciting news yesterday. But yeah, so I think I'm going to get on my way. It is 930. I decided I did not have to rush around like a crazy person this morning. That I would take my time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head off. I'll try to do some filming. Hopefully it's not too crazy busy. Um, but I like doing that. That's fun. Um, I, did, I you know, I'm in the middle. Reason two, my phone's charging up. We'll see how my phone, how my phone acts up. And again, I'm not even going to go look at Christmas stuff. So I'm not even, yeah, unless I come across something really cute and want to show you, I'm not going to, I am going to look at the mug. So if I see something, there is one thing I would get if I saw it and it's already sold out. They have this cute, you know, those old fashioned like ceramic trees with the lights. They had the pink one and it's miniature. And I would have gotten that for my tear tray, but they're sold out. And I don't want the other color. There's white and green. I don't want those. I want the pink one. It's amazing how... And Target, too, how much stuff is sold out. So, anyway, that's fine. One will come in my life if it's meant to be. Right? See, that dropped and I picked it up. That's the new thing. Drop it, pick it up. All right, well, let me get moving. Moving and a-grooving. Y'all, been doing a little dancing, trying to... So, yesterday, um, one of the librarians had a children's program in the afternoon. And we had had a party and... You know, we're all just, you know, you just go crazy at these parties. You know, you eat more than you normally do. And everyone's eating some sugar that people don't ever eat sugar. You know what I mean? It's a thing. It's an energy. So she was like, uh, so I did a cheer for her. I did a dance for her. So she did say it helped her program. So that's what you do for your people. You do a little dancing, a little singing. And, um, you know, once I went to a spiritual advisor and he said, why do you pay to go to a spiritual advisor and then not like really do the work they told you to do? No. But he has said that the best thing for me would to dance, dance all the time, dance five minutes, dance one minute, dance 10 minutes, that that kind of exercise for me would be the absolutely free my soul, my spirit, help my body and anything else would be great. Walking is great, but dancing is the key to my health. And I do do it a lot, but not like all the time intentionally. So intentionally, I'm going to start dancing. Y'all want to dance with me? I don't care if people, um, we could do a minute dance or I forget how the shorts or reels. I can't remember all this, but yeah, I could do a short. We could dance every day. But the problem is I can't, it's copyrighted music. That thing is, that's a thing. So it'd be kind of weird you seeing me dance with no music. But I think when you do a short or something, you can, I don't know. I've got, I've got a deep dive. How can I get, you know, cop I mean, Apple iMovie has quote unquote free music. But now whenever I use it, like I only use it with like speeding up stuff. I get not a copyright strike, y'all, I would die, but just like, hey, pretty much if you make money, you're going to share it with this person. So maybe that's the difference is because I'm monetized now, even though I haven't made not one penny. But maybe that's it. Yeah, so I got to do that. I got to find, I'm, Sue will know. I can make a list of things for Sue. And I bet I can find some stuff that we could dance to. But it seems like on Instagram, you can choose all this music, like real music. So anyway. You guys, you take care. It's good hanging out with you as always. 
they seem to get longer and longer. <laughs> so it's just nice to hang out. And I, yeah, I think I'm feeling a little lonely for my mother. And we you know the holidays are a time. You know, I mean, I can even remember being lonely as a kid. Like it just the like commotion, and then it's not right. I mean, even but you know, knowing now the kind of person I am, I can see why all that happened. But um, yeah. So anyway, I've got y'all to help me through it. I hope I can help you through it, and I'm here for y'all. And um, yeah, it just is, and it's not. The reason for celebrating isn't made up, though, you know, some people think it is. Time of year might, you know, all this stuff that goes into this. But, you know, <clears throat> what Christmas has become is made up, right? And it's all about money and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, trying to find the way through what it's going to mean to me, you know, and I don't necessarily think I'll find it this year. Um... How would I like to spend it? And, you know, the decorating thing. And, um, you know, I may be ready to let more go. I'm not going to do it now just because I want to do the house stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's like, not that I'm afraid not to. I don't know what I am. I really don't. I'm not anti-Christmas. Right? Anti-fun. Anti, you know, good food. Hanging out with people you love gifts but I guess it's like you when you're you lonely or you know we have new people um you know we have a new person and she's from Louisiana and you know when you're just starting off you you know we you don't have money to be running around home all the time so it's just you know it's just stuff like that it's um yeah and then so many people are in need you know how are people feeding their children like even going to Walmart today I uh, I compare prices around and I know like what I'm going to get there like the flower to get the better flower is going to be so much cheaper there which is really why I'm going but yeah I don't know I mean these are thoughts these are um yeah but I'm gonna you know it might take me a couple years to figure out the Christmas thing you know and it's okay so yeah oh thank you somebody who's been so kind and sent me and I don't want to be mean but thank you so much you know who you are and you'll get a separate um, email but some oil pastels so I didn't want anything super fancy but I'm obsessed and I'll have to post share her with you guys. I can't remember her name right now. Um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Maybe there's something going on in my head. Anyway, so oil pastels are, um, you know, resistant to water. So you use them like if you're doing mixed media, use them as like the last step. Well, I, I guess you could. Oh. So, see, now I'm going to want to play. Look at this, are super creamy. Anyway, so there's, oh, man. I, I, you know what? I am going to be, I'm going to swatch this today. I'm going to be, give myself time to swatch this. So thank you. I appreciate it so much. You know, it's so nice. I'm going to, you know, no one needs to do this, but to say, you know, that you bring sunshine to my life. I want you to bring some to yours. It's lovely. But this woman makes these little drawings of animals and people. And she does them in little books. And sometimes she cuts out the silhouette. I can't tell you. I'm like obsessed. Like drawn to it. Why do you get drawn to things? I don't know. But I just. That's what I want to do. So I've been collecting. Um, Like here's a good example. So I've been collecting different books. You know. And board books y'all are the best. Just to get an idea. Now, I'm going to, like, not cartoonize them, but the point is not to be realistic, right? Um, but I want to think about it and play with it. And it's interesting because I'm a little hesitant. Ooh. 
because I know I'm going to suck at it until I get better. And I, and I want to push myself through this process, right? This is exactly what will stop me in the past. So I'm excited to do that. And I want to, I want to do a little bit every day, right? Like maybe spend 20 minutes working on it just because you're not going to get better or get to where you want to be if you're never doing it. I can't just sit down once every two weeks and think it's going to happen. It's not. So I want it to be a daily practice for me. Um, but in like these, so I want it to be a little bit more like that. You know what I mean? Like a little more cartoonish. But yeah, so I got a couple different books just to get some ideas for animals. But yeah, so thank you so much. That makes me so... Oh, I can't sit and play. And the smell. These are nice. And these weren't, these weren't the, these are not, I mean, they're not free, but they're definitely not the high artist quality, which I didn't want. Who wants to play around and learn? You know, I mean, look at that color. That's awesome. Chocolates. I want to name, I want a job where I name things. I'm going to do that anyway. Cerulean blue. <gasps> Perfume Lily. Interesting. Um, Tim Holtz. If anyone who's into art knows who Tim Holtz is and Ranger. And, you know, it's so interesting how he names his things. I'm always curious. Oh, my goodness. Cinnamon Pink. Love it. So, I am going to swatch these. All right. I'm going to get I'm going to get moving. So I can get my things done so I can come home and play with my new toy. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to use those things up, y'all. I'm going to use every one. I'm going to use them up in the next six weeks, six months. They're going to be nubs. That's my promise. So thank you again. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you so much. And again, um, you know, we're here for each other. And we all feel more alike than we don't. And I know the holidays are a struggle, not for everyone. You know, they have big families. They come and see everyone gets along. It's, you know, other than just being exhausting. So, and there's others that have different experiences. And <clears throat> it's like a minefield, right? So, um, I don't have that, thank goodness. But anyway, you guys, I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. And truly, your prayers and thoughts and comments have lifted me up through this really really, I, I don't even know how to describe it, you know, really. So I appreciate it so much. And we're going to do fun things too. I promise. So anyway, let me see if you want to see anything from Vlogmas or, you know, that kind of thing. I think for one of my Vlogmas, we will go to the Amish one time, y'all. One, I'm not, I'm going, oh, I got to write this down. I'm going Monday or I'll probably go, oh, I don't know, maybe Tuesday to get the cheesecake. But that will not be a filming day. So I have to write that. Y'all, if I have to write it down. And there's nothing wrong with having to write down. I got to get my, my book I'm supposed to carry with me all the time. Amish day. Okay. All right, guys. Ooh. Um, yeah. So maybe, maybe when I start this process of coloring these animals and making them up, I will take you with me.